A revolution is brewing in India's defense technology, not through massive fighter jets or billion-dollar bombers, but through compact, high-performance jet engines delivering 2.7 to 4.7 kilonewtons of thrust. These small but powerful engines are powering a new generation of Indian cruise missiles and suicide drones that are cost-effective, stealthy, and strategically game-changing. While nations like the U.S. focus on large, expensive platforms, India's agile defense startups and DRDO-led innovations are rewriting the rules of modern warfare, one small engine at a time. They say, every drop makes an ocean. And today, that saying fits perfectly for what's happening in India's defense industry. A small drop? A compact jet engine is now powerful enough to reshape the map of global military strategy. India is rapidly mastering a category of engines that produce between 2.7 kilonewtons and 4.7 kilonewtons of thrust, the ideal range for cruise missiles, loitering munitions, and tactical drones. While they may sound small compared to fighter jet engines, which typically range from 90 to 120 kilonewtons, their impact is anything but minor. In fact, these engines rival the propulsion systems of some of the world's most famous missiles, the U.S. Tomahawk, around 3.1 kilonewtons, and the European Storm Shadow, around 3.7 kilonewtons. India's homegrown versions not only match, but in some cases surpass these benchmarks in efficiency, endurance, and noise suppression. Let's simplify the tech talk. KN stands for kilonewtons of thrust, the push force that propels an aircraft or missile forward. For small platforms like drones or subsonic cruise missiles, a two to five kilonewton engine hits the sweet spot between range, cost, and stealth. So why are these engines such a big deal? One, cruise missile evolution. Subsonic cruise missiles rely on sustained, efficient thrust to fly long distances under radar detection. India's 2.7 to 4.7 kilonewton engines enable longer range, quieter operation, and better fuel economy, making them perfect for next-gen cruise platforms. Two, suicide and loitering drones. In modern warfare, small, smart, and expendable weapons often decide the outcome. Suicide drones, or kamikaze drones, require lightweight, affordable, and reliable engines. India's indigenous designs fit this role perfectly, giving its armed forces flexibility and scalability without the heavy price tag. Three, startup and industrial ecosystem. Unlike traditional large-scale jet engine programs, these smaller engines can be developed by private startups, defense tech firms, and research institutions working in collaboration. Organizations like DRDO and GTRE are already pushing the limits, while Indian startups are prototyping efficient, modular engines that can power a range of aerial platforms. A robust domestic supply chain, reduced import dependency, lower production and maintenance costs, a strategic edge through mass production capabilities. The strategic shift. Modern warfare isn't just about who has the biggest weapons, it's about who can deploy smart, scalable, and affordable systems faster. Small jet engines make that possible. Imagine hundreds of low-cost drones and cruise missiles swarming across a battlefield, overwhelming defenses, exposing weak points, and reshaping the tactical game. This is why major powers are watching India closely. Reports suggest that even U.S. defense analysts are taking note of how India is building an alternative industrial base capable of supporting advanced cruise and drone technologies, a base that rivals traditional suppliers in efficiency and cost. While the American defense industry continues to focus on large-scale platforms, India's approach is lean, agile, and adaptable. The rise of these mini-engines reflects a larger truth. Strategic independence comes from technological self-reliance. India's defense innovation is no longer driven by a single institution. It's a national ecosystem where startups, public research bodies, and private manufacturers collaborate seamlessly. And that's what's really changing the game. India's silent revolution, the rise of micro-thrust power. What's truly fascinating is that India's focus on these micro-jet engines didn't happen overnight. It's the result of decades of incremental innovation, policy shifts, and a deep understanding of where the future of warfare is heading. The modern battlefield is no longer defined by how high you can fly, but by how efficiently you can strike, how quietly you can move, and how effectively you can deploy technology at scale. In the world of defense engineering, efficiency is the new strength, and India has begun to master this philosophy, the turning point. India's indigenous defense journey was once dominated by large state-led programs, big aircraft, heavy launch vehicles, and long timelines. 
But post-2015, a wave of private defense startups and Make in India reforms began changing the ecosystem. Small, highly specialized firms emerged, focusing on propulsion, avionics, and lightweight materials, exactly the domains where small jet engines play a crucial role. It started with small goals, building two to three kilo Newton engines for short-range UAVs. But success in one area quickly inspired a national movement towards self-reliant propulsion systems. Today, these Indian micro-engines are being tested for cruise missiles, stealth drones, and tactical UAVs that can operate autonomously, even in GPS-denied environments. And while these engines weigh only a fraction of their Western counterparts, they pack enough thrust to change the balance of power in low-intensity and asymmetric warfare. The real impact? Precision over power. Western military doctrine, especially in the United States, has traditionally emphasized power projection, aircraft carriers, strategic bombers, and high-value assets. India's doctrine, on the other hand, is evolving in a very different direction, one based on distributed lethality. That means instead of relying on a few massive systems, India aims to deploy hundreds of intelligent, coordinated platforms powered by these efficient engines. Think of it as the military version of cloud computing. Small, modular systems working together to deliver overwhelming power. These drones and cruise missiles could carry small payloads, strike with precision, and operate in swarms. In fact, Indian engineers have already demonstrated AI-assisted swarm control, where dozens of UAVs operate semi-autonomously to confuse or overwhelm enemy radar and missile defenses. And behind each of those UAVs lies the same thing, a small, robust jet engine. How small engines reshape strategy. Let's break this down further. A large fighter jet engine, such as the GEF-414 used in advanced aircraft, produces nearly 100 kilo newtons of thrust. But it also costs millions of dollars, consumes enormous fuel, and requires heavy maintenance. Now compare that to a 4 kilo newton Indian mini-engine. It can be mass-produced at 100th the cost. It consumes a fraction of the fuel. It can be maintained by small teams in the field, and most importantly, it can be built entirely domestically. From a strategic standpoint, this gives India an asymmetric advantage. Instead of matching the US or China plane for plane, India can now deploy hundreds of compact, cost-effective platforms, a quantity with quality approach that was previously impossible. A wake-up call for Global Defense Powers reports from global think tanks such as RAND and SIPRI suggest that smaller nations investing in compact drone and cruise technologies are eroding the dominance once enjoyed by large air forces. The Ukraine conflict proved that low-cost drones could inflict millions in damage on tanks and infrastructure. Now, imagine those drones powered by jet engines capable of higher altitude, longer endurance, and better payload handling. That's where India's new propulsion tech comes in. Analysts in Washington, D.C. are quietly observing this shift. A U.S. defense advisor recently commented that India has managed to do with small engines what many major programs couldn't merge efficiency, scalability, and stealth. This doesn't mean India is competing with the United States head-on. It means India is pioneering a different model of technological advancement, innovation that's lean, indigenous, and dual-use, applicable to both military and civilian industries the engine ecosystem, DRDO, GTRE, and startups. At the heart of this revolution are India's research powerhouses, the Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, and the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. They laid the groundwork for small turbojet and turbofan engines.